And welcome on back to Up North at Four, Detective Sergeant DJ Wilson and his pal, Thunder, joining us here. I feel like we just need to address, we got this four-legged friend of ours joining the show. Who, who is Thunder? What, what, what made you get involved with the canine unit? Um, I guess I was a police officer for a while, um, switched over to the sheriff's office, and uh, Love dogs, so got a dog. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love dogs? And obviously, Thunder is a little excited to be on the show. What's it like to have to kind of corral him and work with him every single day? It is uh, a job every day to <laughs> keep him busy and keep him out of trouble. I, I guess how long, how long has Thunder been with the K9 uh, unit? Thunder Sydney. I, how long has how long has a Thunder been with the K9 unit? Um, I got him in the end of 2020. Oh, okay. in 2020, so still pretty recent. Yeah. yeah. And he, you were telling me before, he's about three years old, so still kind yeah. of a puppy, as you can tell. He's very excited, Aww. wants to come give me lots of kisses. Thunder, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, how do you sort of rein him in sometimes? I know you were speaking, uh, what was that, German to him before? Czech. Czech, okay. And so what is sort of the benefit of not using English, I suppose? Um, I guess uh, one of the benefits is not everybody knows... Uh, the Czech language. Right. Um, so is there sort of, you know, nobody can yell at him and tell him to sit or stay and he's no, not going to listen? No, he's not going to. Okay. Good boy. And then obviously when you're working with a dog, a German Shepherd like this, using a different language, how difficult is it to go through that training aspect of getting him to pay attention to you and nobody else? Um, it's pretty, uh, it's a process. I can um, imagine. It's yeah. about a month long. I went through uh, down in Wisconsin and got them in, mm -hmm. at Just Finney Canine Services in Iron Ridge. And it was about five weeks, and it's a lot of uh, work. I can, yeah, I but can obviously, imagine, obviously yeah. it pays off over time, too, because obviously canine units are really helpful as far as, A, keeping you safe, but also uh, sipping out the things that us humans may not be able to smell, right? For sure. He, uh, he's a narcotics detection dog, so mm -hmm. he can find the illegal drugs. Um, he can track, track people. Um, if somebody would run from us and then uh, throw something, he can find articles mm -hmm. on tracks and uh, obviously find people who are lost and things like that, too. Right, so. right. And I was curious then, too, obviously, he is a German Shepherd. There's other breeds that some canine units use. Is there benefits to <coughs> using, let's say, a German Shepherd versus another breed when it comes to narcotics, per se? Um, I guess it's just depending on... Uh, what uh, what your department's looking for? Mm -hmm. um, there's Belgian Malinois that's they are uh, very high strung, even <laughs> higher strung, even more active than him. Mm -hmm. um, there are like German sh German short hair pointers that are typically narcotics dogs, mm -hmm. and and they're uh, they're also high strung. So you like the high energy um, and uh, activity level, so they don't get board they're always looking to do something totally. and I guess as far as starting to train a German or I guess a canine unit is to keep it more vague for those that may use different uh, breeds of course um, I guess when does a dog get introduced to that training program there's several different uh, different ways to do it um, Crandon police in Crandon um, has a Belgian Malinois mm -hmm. and they went through a different program and their their dogs are trained from when they're puppies all the way until you get it um, he was about two years old when I when he came to the United States and and then got introduced into the the police world I guess so it, there's different different ways to do it is that late for a, a puppy or is that like pretty normal pretty normal okay. um, either either way um, it takes uh, different different routes I guess right right and I'm kind of curious then for your aspect as well to become a, a, a canine handler what's the the training like is it strictly working with dogs and obviously with thunder or do you have to go through a written portion how does that all go um the, the por program that i went through is uh about a month long it's learning how to take care of them what's common to problems that you would have mm -hmm. with them um how to feed them how to when to feed them and then uh, obviously to how to get them to work yeah totally and obviously we we're used to working with humans you work with a dog what's it like to work with an animal every single day um it's really cool i know that he has my back if anything bad happens so absolutely um there's a little button that i wear on my on my belt and i can push it and he's going to come and find me wherever i am so awesome well dj we really appreciate you taking the time today and thunder of course as well he is enjoying that tennis ball <laughs> i also have a tennis ball on my desk that i like 
squeezed as a stress ball, so him and I, I guess, we got something in common. Right. <laughs> DJ, sure. we really appreciate you coming on. Of course, Thank Thunder you. as well. When we return, Buffy returns with some guacamole dip for Cinco de Mayo. Stick with us on Up North at 4. When you were eight and you had